value of parent-teacher conferences, I'm really taking in more information than I'm giving them. My, my goal is to really get to know their child, and the only way I'm going to get to really know their child and what makes them tick is to get insight from the parents. They can't always get a feel for what their child's actually doing in the classroom and what they're actually learning and how they're engaging with other children. So to take the photos, the video, and to actually show that back to a parent, the major underlying thing that you've done is you've developed a sense of trust. You drop your kid off and you don't know what they're doing for three hours a day. <laughs> You see little glimpses of the last two minutes or the first two or three minutes. And it's really nice to, you know, things like this that you don't necessarily see, like the pictures and just chat, chatting with the teacher just one-on-one -on -one when there's not, you know, 12 other kids in the class and 12 other parents trying to collect their children. And it's just good for, to have that one-on-one -on -one time and just kind of get a better feel for what's going on. That collaboration and that connection and that comfort level with the parents is going to allow them to share more. That's only going to support the child's growth. Tell me three things about Finley. If you think of Finley, what do you think about? She's sweet. She's helpful. She is strong-willed. <laughs> and Finley is strong-willed. Well, good. We'll, we'll probably touch on that a little bit. And those probably change a, a lot based on, you know, what's going on and kind of a day she's having. And, and also, even if I ask that question from semester to semester or year to year with parents, it'll change. Right, yeah. It's how you see your child now that I think is helpful. And I would say that we would see those exact same things. Yeah. What would you like me to know about Finley? Something I wouldn't know in a classroom setting, like how she is with the neighborhood or how she is at home. Or... She really likes her, well, you probably do see this in the class. She really likes her peers. She likes kids. She likes to play with the neighbor kids and she's very curious about all the kids, not just, you know, what I would call her peers in the neighborhood, but, you know, Riley, my older daughter's peers, and you know, even she when the kids get off the bus, she's where is she going? What is she doing? Why is she carrying this? I mean, she's just curious um, about other kids and is really interested in them. And, like their stories. Yeah. Well, and that's really outside of her world. I mean, that's right. really like usually they're so me centered that that's kind of that's yeah. kind of a good thing for me to know. She seems so natural at social skills, and it has happened quite quickly. And I think. This one's changed her personality a lot. I think she grew up a lot when he was born. Ah. And she was no longer the baby in the center of the universe. And she had to learn to, I think it just kind of shifted her perspective to, oh, okay, now I'm an older kid. Now I'm a big kid. I'm no longer the baby. And That's a great insight. Um, and, and she pretty adapted pretty quickly. Yeah, she did. And we haven't had any resentment issues or, you know, she's, She's a really good mommy. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Finley is never ever by herself. <laughs> she is always surrounded by kids. And so my observation is the social skills are great, even with some language difficulties. I think she makes her case known all the time. Good. And not only by her language, but by her lack of language. Right. The strong will right. piece comes through. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. that's a challenge, but I think that'll serve her well. Oh, totally. In life, it just, you know, I'm, I'm not going to back down. So I, I'm actually glad that she does have that in her, that she's not like a shrieking violet, that she's just going to go into the corner and be sad about it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Besides when you're having these big meetings, what what would your goals for a family be, your personal goals? Like why do you um, think it's important for her to be at Emerald Preschool? I just want her to feel comfortable in social settings and know that she's accepted and loved and can do it. I think that's what's impressed me the most is she has that can-do attitude. Yeah. Part of the mantra in the Emerald Preschool is, I have a great attitude and I can right. do it. Yeah. And, and the other part of the Emerald kind of philosophy is that we will help you do anything, mm -hmm. but things aren't done for her. So that huge strain of independence. Right. No, this is, I mean, this is right where she needs to be. And that's, okay. it just is the continuation. What I love is it's just the continuation of what we're teaching her at home. That you're not any different, figure out how to do it, get it done.
I am amazed at her capabilities for adaptation. And if you look at these pictures, she was doing a squeezing eyedropper and then she moved everything off the tray. And in this classroom, you also clean up. And so she has a sponge. What are you doing? What are you cleaning up? Yep, and look how happy you are. And then here, she's working with a high school student. We have a teacher cadet from BHS okay. who comes over, and she was showing her how to scoop these little n noodles. Yeah. She has a balance between some teacher interaction, but also a lot of time working together with friends. She's always with a group of kids. Here are your buddies at circle time. She's always lovey and touchy and feely <laughs> and touching them. The adaptation with her with her mm -hmm. fine motor is just phenomenal. I mean, it just, so these are all pictures of Finley. And you know what I thought? You could take these home for Riley and Daddy, too. Oh. And you could talk about how you do this at school. Now, this is when we do skits and we do the word of the week. Mm -hmm. And they volunteer to come up and do skits. Oh, yeah. And participate. Does she volunteer? Yeah, this Does is her she? volunteering. Really? Yep, we were Good volunteering job. and persevering and staying with the job and not, and like dumping the puzzle and then we say, oh, it's so hard, but we're going to persevere. And Finley was helping us persevere, weren't you? So I just wanted you to know that one of the other skills about joining in a group time mm -hmm. and participating does it voluntarily without Good. any, any Good. prompting. Yeah, because I think that confidence is going to be important for her too. Right, right, right. I think oh. that you might get a lot of language if you take these home. Yeah. and ask her to explain yeah. it to Dad and to Riley. Yeah. Would you like to take these to your house and show show your family? You oh, take these home to you, Bobo? Are you going to show Grandma too? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. And if you haven't seen us working on anything that you'd like us to work on, can you think of something? Yeah. No, I think that, you know, I mean, that's the main thing that I think that you probably see more of that I don't see is just like that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. talking to you, don't talk to me, just, you know, her understanding that she still needs to be polite and she needs to answer when someone talks to her. And, and you know, that's not atypical for all three-year-olds that come from a family where they're the baby and everything is focused on Yeah. Them. And so part of my job is to make that focus on a community yeah. and focus on if we have visitors, this is how we treat visitors. Right. Um, and if we have specialists that come in, this is how we incorporate yeah. them. And then at the same time, I'm telling the specialists, you know what? She has so many specialists right. that we need to s respect her space right. as yeah. well. Yeah, it's a t definitely a two-way street. It is. You have to do. You got to stand. stand. Anything else? No, I think she's doing really well. She's I, the biggest indicator for me is she's excited to come to school. That's the most important feedback you could give. Me. Yeah, and that's the biggest indicator for me is she's happy to be here and she wants oh. to be here. So I think it's great. Well, we have one more thing. Do you want to see a movie of you, Finley? Would you like to see a movie of you? I want to see a movie. Okay. Where do you see this? Who's that in the swing? You. Who's Dylan and Max, and this is Amber. Do you want to come up and see? You s <laughs> then she said, Feel the laughing. It's just a short one. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Is that fun? Yeah. yeah. Is that your friends? So nice. And so that was early on in the year, and I just thought, wow, look at how everybody's just working together. Oh, Finley, you were just laughing. I think that was the first time where she really just all out laughed, and right. we saw that other okay. side of her. Yeah. And that's why we, I know that that side exists, but I don't always see it. Right. I've seen her come out of her shell just with, um, with other kids, um, just the interaction. Um, trusting other adults, just knowing that there's other people besides mom and dad that can take care of her and love her and who don't want to poke at her and take her blood pressure and look at her head and who can just play with her and teach her and love her. So that's nice. You did such a good job! I, I am thrilled with her progress. I am too. I, I think that she's doing really well. Huh? Huh? Do you want to go play with your friends now? You got to come to preschool early, didn't you? Didn't you? And Ollie got to come to preschool? Hey, how come Ollie can't stay at preschool? He's too what? He's too little. Too little. <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> can you say can you say hi? Were you looking for Finley? Yeah. Yeah. They're buddies. It doesn't matter, you know, where you come from, what your 
you know, if you can speak perfectly, if you have a hard time with your language, if you speak English or if you don't speak English, if you, um, you know, might have some social issues, some social economic issues, some, I mean, there's just kids from every walk of life and with a lot of different problems, but it, it all, it's left at the door and they don't care. They're just, they're friends and they love each other and it's great. Acceptance. That's it. One word. Just acceptance.